Hello everybody, my name is Adam Aragat, and today I'm going to be presenting to you on why our brain reacts to optical illusions the way it do. Now, you might think that your eyes have everything to do with what you see, but actually, our brains play a big role in making sense of what we see. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to see anything without our eyes, but without our brain's input, everything that we see would be total nonsense. So how does your brain take in anything that it sees in the first place? We'll start down the lens of your eye. And basically everything that you see is light, whether it's reflecting off of a light bulb or the sun, any light source. Then it is sent back to the retina. There in the retina, it is turned into electrical signals. Those electrical signals are then sent back to your brain. Now our brain has a big job in making sense of what it's seen by using clues like the color, shape, and size of the object. Then you get the ultimate image. Now thankfully you don't have to do this work and you wouldn't want to. This only takes one tenth of a second. With all this information that your brain is already taken in, it is extremely hard for it to focus on many things at once. So when your brain sees optical illusions, it takes a shortcut. All the details involved in an optical illusion automatically tell your brain to take that shortcut. This first illusion I have for you guys today is the Troxler's fading illusion. As you can see, at one point, a pink circle disappears in the sequence. What happens if we stare at the center of the circle for a second? You might see a green circle moving around the sequence. Why do you see this? This is an example of motion after effect. Basically, your brain wants to take in more information about the pink dot before you look away. So, instead of the pink, instead of the pink dot, it puts the green dot in its place. This is the checker shadow illusion. As you can see, there are two squares labeled square A and square B. Square A may seem to be darker than square B, but actually, these two squares are the exact same shade. It's when you put the checkerboard pattern around these two squares, your brain makes the two squares follow that pattern. This is the Hermann grid illusion. If you look around this illusion, you might see a flash of black from a dot. Why do you see this? This is another example of motion after effect. Your brain wants to take in more information about the white dot before you look away, so it puts the flash of the black. If you stare at one dot, this illusion will not work. But as you keep looking around the grid and see more dots, this illusion works. This is the Ebbinghaus illusion. Think of it like this. You haven't eaten all day, and you went to your favorite restaurant. And the chef gave you two choices on your entree, the option on the right and the option on the left. The orange circle is the size of your entree, and the blue circle is the perimeter of your plate. Which entree would you choose? You might have chosen the one on the right, but actually, these two circles are the exact same size. It's when you put different size circle around the two circles, makes one look bigger and one look smaller. This is the kinesis triangle illusion. If you look at this for a second, you might see two triangles and three Pac-Man figures. But actually, there are no triangles in this image whatsoever. There are just three angles where the corners of the triangle would be, and the space in the middle that all your brain has to do is outline to see a triangle. This is a Ponzo illusion. There are two yellow lines and a railroad track. The top yellow line may seem to be longer than the bottom yellow line, but actually, these two lines are the exact same length. It's when you put the railroad track from being wider to thinner, your brain places the top yellow line farther out on the background and the bottom yellow line closer in. So the next time you see an optical illusion, remember, what you see isn't always what you think is there. Don't believe me, the optical illusion is the proof. Thank you.